welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students these are the questions which are asked in many of the entrance exam and trust me i'm going to show you a trick with which you will be able to solve any of these questions in matter of seconds okay normally the question is what you need to find the angle made by the hour hand and the minute hand in a clock now if you look over here we have a clock okay please don't mind my drawing okay i could not show you an exact clock so this is how i have drawn it and you have to find the angle if it was at 5 o'clock what is the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand if it was 3 o'clock then again what is the angle similarly here similarly here you had to find the angles okay and for that you don't have to do anything trust me all you have to do is you just have to multiply 5 with 30 here your answer becomes what 150 and that is the amount of degrees when it is 5 o'clock in a clock okay so similarly 3 into 30 will get you what 90 1 into 30 again is what 30 degrees so 30 degrees is your answer when it is 1 o'clock in the clock okay and now here 11 into 30 please understand this is 330 okay so whenever whenever you have this answer this particular answer is greater than 180 degrees okay then what you have to do is just subtract that from 360 subtract your answer from 360 so your final answer in this case would be 30 degrees please understand this is super important if you miss out on this you will end up making the wrong choice as your answer okay So now, students, you might be wondering. Okay, this is good. This is so simple, and this is so much easy. Then what happens when the hour, sorry, the minute hand is not at twelve? At that time, there is a simple formula with which you can do these kind of questions instantly. Okay, but before beginning with that, I would like to remind all of you all that if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you can mention in the comment section. Okay, using the trick shown here. So now over here, see what is your formula? Your formula is nothing but 30 h minus 11 upon 2 m. I know it's a bit tricky to remember. So all you can think or how I could remember this is basically first is your hours. Okay. and then next is your minutes so how many minutes do you have in a hour there are um, how many minutes there are 60 minutes and you do half of that you get what 30 minutes okay oh, sorry 30 h that gets multiplied with your h and how many hours in a day 12 you subtract one from that and then you do the half and that gets multiplied with your minutes i know it might be a very lame explanation but this is the one which i could fit in okay but if you can just simply remember this that also will work wonders okay so now for this one what you have over here is 30 into r so what is the r over here we have 7 r okay so 7 30 into 7 minus 11 upon 2 we have into 20 so 30 into 7 is what 210 minus This is what tens are. So minus eleven into ten is going to get you hundred and ten. So your answer is just hundred degrees. Okay. So for this one, I'm writing the answer over here. It is hundred degrees. Okay. So I hope you all are getting the hang of this. Okay. Please understand. In this also, you might come across a number which is very big. Uh, or rather it is bigger than 180 then in that case what you do and and you might come across a negative number then in that case what you should do all of those scenarios have been taken care of okay so now simply over here we again multiply by 30 into 5 minus 11 upon 2 into 40 so basically this becomes what 150 minus this is 20 right so this becomes what Eleven into twenty gets you minus two twenty. Okay. So here, in that case, what is your answer? Your answer is now coming out to be negative. 
okay so please understand when you have a negative answer okay this is something which you need to remember when you have the negative answer in such a kind of a situation all you have to do is just remove the negative discard the negative and take the positive as your answer okay i hope you all are understanding okay so now let's do very quickly what happens when we have to find out what is the angle between 8 hours and 50 minutes so you will have to multiply 8 into 30 minus 11 upon 2 into 50 so 8 into 30 is what 240 minus this is 25 multiply that with a 275 okay so here again there is a negative answer which is coming so here your answer is coming out to be minus 35 so you will just simply discard the negative value and your answer now changes to 35 degrees okay so now for this one we have 10 into 30 which is going to be 300 minus 11 upon 2 into 10 so this is 5 so 300 minus 55 okay so that gets you what 245 correct now please understand 245 is way ahead than 180 please understand this particular rule will suffice to any of these calculations okay so 245 when it is greater than 180 all you have to do is subtract 245 from 360 so your answer now changes to 115 and 115 so for this one your answer is 115 degrees okay i hope you all are understanding how to do these things okay so now very quickly let's revise if they haven't given you anything okay they haven't given you the minutes they have just told you any ang any particular r value okay so if they had given you something like 10 o'clock okay so all you had to do is just multiply 10 with 30 and that would get you your answer which is 300 now problem is 300 is way above of 180 so in that case what you do is you just subtract 360 from 300 or other 300 from 360 your answer is what 60 degrees okay now when it happens that they have given you the minutes value then in that case what you do is just sub multiply 30 with the hours value given and subtract that by 11 by 2 and multiply the minutes value given in your question okay so i hope this is very very simple okay please remember this particular formula and just multiply your r with 30 when when minute is equals to zero okay understood so now coming to your diy i want you to tell me what should be i'll change the pen yeah what is your uh, <coughs> two hours and 40 minutes or 50 minutes okay two hours and 50 minutes what should be the angle do let me know your answers in the comment section so that's it for today i will see you in the next video